I failed the Azure Admin Associate exam, but I used the questions from the exam to create five projects that I'm going to show you here today, and then I passed the exam. So these five projects, I'll show you the detailed step-by-step -step guides, which I created and used to pass the exam. There'll be the first link in the description if you want to go and check it out and download the file, or just go and see it online. It'll be hosted on a Notion site. If you want a tutorial, so a follow-through of these guides, then do let me know in the comments below and I'll get that up. But essentially what we're going to go through is we're going to be creating virtual machines, creating networks, managing them, using encryption, backup, etc. And then the last two projects are on two points within the exam which I wasn't prepared for at all when I first done the exam, which are App Service and Entra ID. I didn't really have any experience with them, but after these projects, I was able to ace the exam. So let's get into what these projects are. So you'll see each project here comes in this format of the project name, the topics it covers, how long it should take you, you know, and this has been generous. It may not take you anywhere near this length of time. A summary of what it is, the business scenario, because in the exam, they like to give everything as like scenario based, like you are a company or you are a consultant and you're trying to do something or an engineer. And then we have steps, which is what you should do in portal to get familiar with these resources. So project one is Azure Compute and Identity Management. Now you'll notice here I don't have any fancy stuff of like deploying an app through this, 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 because this is let's keep costs low. You know, you will use a free trial of Azure if, you know, if you never used it before or using your email or whatever. And we don't want you to have to rack up costs to practice because you don't need to. So these are all just very basic deploy the machine. You don't have to deploy anything again in it, no app, anything, just the machine itself because they don't really, you don't really have to, because it's just about getting to grips with Azure, getting a bit of hands-on, seeing what things are. And I would really strongly advise, if you're following these through at home, have ChatGPT open on the side and use ChatGPT to ask them questions. So when you're creating a virtual machine, it asks for something like configure an admin or an SSH key, and you don't know what an SSH key is, just ask ChatGPT, and then it all starts to make sense. And suddenly you're gonna have a real good grasp of the cloud fundamentals. So project one, we set up a virtual machine and we secure this virtual machine using role-based access control. That's this here, RBAC. We then apply policies for resource governance and we encrypt sensitive data. And then at the end, we go and have a look and monitor some costs. And so this here is a step-by-step -step guide on that project. After we've done that, we then want to have a little bit more of a look at networking. So within here, we deploy a secure storage account, create VNets and NSGs, and NSG is a network security group. This is for isolation, enabling encryption and automating resource deployment using ARM templates. And so that means instead of click, click, click on virtual machines to build one, you could use, for example, virtual machines. You could use an ARM template, which is a resource template. And every time you run the same template, the same machine gets built because you can think of all the errors of clicking around. And then here's a step-by-step -step of how to do that again. And then number three, now we start looking at monitoring backup and recovery, because you now have a virtual machine, you have network, you have storage, etc. Let's think, how do we actually monitor it? How do we back this up? How do we recover it if something happens? And so from here, we use monitor alerts, backup encryption protocols, and log queries to get to grips with us. And it's just a short one because, again, this is just about having a look in Azure and trying to understand how does this all fit together. Number four is Entra ID and identity management. So this is one that I hadn't really covered at all in my initial studying. But essentially, this one demonstrates integrating applications with Entra ID, which is like Azure's Active Directory. That's what they had rebranded it from. An Active Directory is a way to manage security from a single perspective, essentially. And so from here, you manage users and groups, you set up conditional access policies, enable multi-factor uh, multi authentication, and then you monitor authentication activity. And so again, for this one, it's really just about having a look and looking and trying out the things that you would do maybe as more of an administrator, as an Azure admin, or as a cloud support engineer, for example. And now number five, was one that I had no experience with at all until I had created this project, 
which is Azure App Service Deployment and Scaling. So now we have to a solid understanding of virtual machines, virtual networks, how they get backed up, how to deal with encryption, how to monitor them, now how to secure them with this Entra ID idea. Now it's how are apps deployed and scaled. So this project here, it focuses on deploying a web application using Azure App Service, utilizing deployment slots because that gets asked about in the exam for testing, configuring, auto-scaling based on metrics and setting up backups. So if there are loads of users, how does it scale up, for example? Now, you don't really see it in action because you're not going to be sending loads of traffic to the app, but it's about setting it up to just understand how is it working. And that is all of the five projects. So if you want to walk through of any of these, do let me know and I'll create tutorials on them or just one big massive tutorial. If you want to follow these along at home, then just go and check out first link in the description. And if you want more tips on how to pass the exam, such as using the open book, etc., then check the video, which will be recorded up here on how I pass the exam and my strategy to do that. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed and take care.